welcome back. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to apply braid to your chair, sofa, whatever it is that you want to apply braid to. Um, okay, so I have this, which is from Troy North Limited, and they're really good. I mean, I love their braids. Um, they also do like um, tie backs for curtains or um, uh, sofas. I forget what sofas are. No sofas. Something. If I remember, I'll tell you during. Um, yeah, so I have this one because this is what the customer wanted, and it goes really nice with the fabric. I'm going out of the bag now. Okay, so I have this. Okay, so this end is going to fray, and that's why we fold it over. So when you put this on, you always start from the corner because if you start from the middle or from the sides, you're going to be able to see it and it's not going to look great. So that's why you put it in the corner because you're less likely to see it. Um, so with this, you can... Which way am I going? Okay, but also you have to remember on a braid, you can always tell the top from the bottom because the bottom is usually like that. I mean, not all of them. Not all of them have a top from the bottom, but you have to check to make sure that they just in case they do. So this has, the bottom of the fringe has to run along in line with the wood. Because if you have it upside down, it's not gonna look great. I mean, you can put it whatever way you want. Really, it's up to you. Personally, I've just got a little bit of OCD and I like putting it, putting it along the bottom. Um, so you can put a staple in here and the staple will hold it in place so that you can put your braid around. Um, which is where I'm going to do it, or uh, you can actually put a little bit of glue in here and then you fold it over and that will secure that, then you glue that and you glue it to the fabric like you do all the way around, but it's easier doing it with a staple well I think it is easier, okay so you put a staple in there and you put your glue in along the middle of the braid and you don't want to go too far along because otherwise your glue will dry before you've even stuck it down and you stick it so that it's in line with your wood and you just put pressure on it a little bit so this is a really high piled fabric so it actually isn't sticking great to it. I mean, it will stick, it will stay, but it's not doing it great. And you put your glue in. Along there like that. And again, you just put a little bit of pressure on. You don't wanna push too hard because otherwise the glue may come through the braid and that will burn your fingers. I've done that many a time. Running back. Going back to the corner. For some you can't be Okay. Ooh. So you want to keep working the way up. So down the middle. Down the middle. Let's move up with your thumb. In line with the fabric and because this is quite a high pile you're going to have to oh, I'm going to have to like Thank you. 
So then once you've glued all the way around, and your braid's almost on, you leave a little bit of a gap. And when you get to the bottom, you measure with your finger again where you want it to stop. And then about half an inch down, you cut it off. Okay, and then keep in mind where you want it to go. And you put a little bit of glue on there. And then you fold where you want it to go. Then what you want to do is you just carry on like you've been doing. And put a nice big glob over that to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Ow! <gasps> this glue is hot, this glue is hot, this glue is hot! But you can do it if you want. There you go! And then it's basically the same all the way around. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to braid a chair. Um, I'll leave a uh, link to Troy North's Twitter in the bottom if you want to go check them out. They're really, they got some really nice braids. Um, so yeah. Dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 da, 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 dum.